Now today I want to show you an absolute spectacular dish that for whatever reason has disappeared from restaurant menus. I mean, the dish itself is absolutely genius. It's super simple and it would fit so well in our times. It's basically was served in countless two and three Michelin star restaurants throughout Europe. It's also vegan. I mean, not that that does really matter, does it? Um, I served a version of that in my own restaurant back in Austria. Well, I became the youngest chef in the world to get 18 out of 19 points of Gomeo. And since that time, I have worked and managed some of the best restaurant kitchens in Europe. And these days, I run my own cooking school. So what is that dish? It's Listerine. Who invented it? Michel Trauma. I mean, he is an absolute, absolute genius chef. Few other inventions of his. I mean, it's green apple sorbet, chocolate tea, chocolate cigars, just to name a few. And Michel Trauma literally was one of the most copied chefs before the trend of molecular cooking came in. Marco Pierre White, for whom I manage restaurants, kitchen, served a version of it or two versions of it so did Ante Moseman, Raymond Plon which I worked for as well did that too and so did many 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 other chefs around Europe copy that dish I mean it's absolutely great for dinner party it lasted for two or three days in the fridge and let's cook now the super simple genius terrain of leek so you go the first thing you need to do you obviously need to get the leek in the right length so get your terrain mold Measure how long it is, take a piece of leek, cut it exactly the same length and then keep doing that with all the other leeks too until you have loads and loads of leeks. So you're going to need a lot of leek and you're going to need some really, really young, fresh leek. Young and fresh leek obviously is much, much more tender and the second thing you also will find with free young, fresh leek, it has much, much more pectin. Now pectin is like a fruit gelatin or vegetable gelatin and will make your terrain stick really nicely together. Remove the roots because we don't need them either. But don't worry about cleaning up the leek because you can do that all later on much much better but you want to get rid of some of the grit or at least most of the grit and if some get trapped in there and they don't and you miss it you can fix that on later on too then remove the outer leaves of the green part because they can be a bit tough at times so remove them as well so here we go that's our leak all perfectly trimmed next you go under the sink and you wash out as much grit as you can definitely wash out all the grit from the green part but don't worry too much about the white part because you can do that later on as i said to you here we go that's all our leaks so the green upper part is obviously the one which i'm gonna have to tie together because you don't want those leaves start to float around and then later on they're gonna be really hard to arrange and it's just not gonna look great as you will see all by the end of it so just tie it of course you could use some rubber bands if that's all you will have or what you want to use it works just as perfectly too but it just squeezes the leak a bit more some really really boiling hot water now that water is boiling hot and you don't want to put too many leaks in there at a the time so basically it's just cook half of them and first you cook all the lower part because they take a little bit longer and depending on how thick a leak is probably two to three to four minutes it takes put the weight on it so it's really nicely submerged lid back on keep it boiling and then you need to check the leaks so what you're looking for is basically that the leak when you poke a knife in it it has the same resistance all the way through if it gets really really tough towards the center you need to cook it a bit longer now when your leak is ready you need to put it in some really really cold water now i forgot to film that in a video but what I do here i take it out i put it in cold water so you do that too okay promise here we go you hear the water running in the back so next the green parts go in as i said the green parts they're gonna take a bit less they're probably gonna take a third less of the cooking time but you really really have to be careful with the green parts because you do not want to discolor them so you don't want the chlorophyll to break down so you really really have to watch it so i cook it for two minutes then i check it end of the cooking time might be three minutes so here we go perfect maintain its green color it goes into the cold water too where well, i chill it down as i said the white part will take a little bit longer so i cook that for another minute here we go 
So that's after chilling down in cold water, I put it on some tea towel to dry it off really nicely. And you can see the green part absolutely perfectly kept its green color while the white and yellow part has cooked a bit longer and you can see the green is not that bright anymore. To be really pay attention to that. Take off the rubber band or the strings, whatever you have. And now you're gonna go and clean the leak up. Meaning you remove the outer leaves that have been chewy. So you can do that much better now. Would I have done that before? The leak might all have fallen apart and I would have to tie everything. So if there's any grit or soil in it, you can literally just wipe it off now. Can you see that here? Or you can even wash it off if you want to do that. So here we go. Just make sure that you keep just the inner part, the really tender bit. Don't have any chewy leaves in there because otherwise your terrine later on will be chewy too. So that's all our leak. And now we can go and set it aside and I will show you how to arrange the terrine in the most perfect way. So what we need for that is some glad wrap or cling film or cling wrap, whatever country you're in. And basically a double sheet or triple sheet. So basically, I'm not a big fan of cloud wrap if you want to be more environmentally friendly, which I should have done for this video. I just could have used the muslin cloth. And now I just wipe out all the air and through that to get a really strong sheet of cloud wrap. And now the next thing is I put that into a terrain mode. And you can see because the sheet is so thick, it goes really, really nicely into the corners. So now, Next thing, you need to season it. Season it with salt and pepper. And you need loads of it. Loads of salt, loads of pepper. Because later on when you squeeze the terrine, you will literally find that a lot of that juice comes out. And with that juice, the salt and the pepper will also come out. So basically lay those three pieces of leek, the white parts all together on one side, green parts all on the other side. Season it with salt and pepper again. And the next thing is you lay, lay it opposite because then you're going to get a really, really nice coloring of your terrine and it should have, you know, some beautiful colors at the end as you will see. Salt, pepper. So, what you could do now, you could add different flavors to it. Like I could put some truffles in it. You know, some chefs put in some foie gras. I saw that before. Some scampi, scallops, oysters, as well as lobsters. We just can put some herbs in it to add some colors like I do here with some chives or with some tarragon. It's totally up to you. You don't have to do it, but if you want to add a bit of an extra kick, you just add a layer of flavor right in the middle. And now we put the first layer of green leek on it. So the green is obviously not going to have the right length like the white and yellow bits have. So I can just adjust that here. As you see, I just take one of the other green parts and just cut it up and through that. Yeah, it all looks perfect too, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, agree. And next thing is, you just basically keep doing that and you're gonna have to totally, totally overfill your terrain. So start squeezing it a bit down. You're gonna find some of the water comes out already, which is great. So push it down, push it down, and then you put the next layer on it, salt, pepper, and you basically overfill the terrain by at least one third because that's how much water you're approximately gonna lose. So here we go. Uh, so start exactly the same way as I did before. White pit all on one side and then I do the opposite again. Salt, pepper and you can see the terrain mode is pretty full by now at least about one third or so. Last time of seasoning, salt and pepper and then you fold the glad wrap over. So you have to fold it over really, really tightly. So then you get the, the first initial push or press, and then you're gonna rearrange it and then press it again. So next thing is put, poke loads and loads of holes into your glad wrap. If you use a muslin cloth, you don't have to do that. And so that you can squeeze out all the water. So you need those gaps that the water can escape so that. So then push it with your body weight as hard as you can. So basically just press your whole body down. Of course, do that on a tray because a lot of juice is gonna come out. You don't wanna have a mess in your kitchen, isn't it? So just keep pushing that down, keep pushing it. Okay, 
So then you open the glider up and then you rearrange it. You tighten it really, really tight because now you're going to give it the initial and most important squeeze. So you keep doing that again and then you put a really, really heavy weight. Could be an oil drum, could be a milk crate, could be anything that you have, a box of wine. It just needs to be really heavy weight. I put a pot of water on it and I didn't secure it on the sides. And what you can see is here. Oh, it took me around 20 minutes to clean that mess up. And of course, the second time I did much better, I put something on the side, as you can see here, some containers. And then I let that stand for approximately, there's a full pot of water on the top there for one and a half hours. Squeeze out as much juice as you can. Remove the pot, remove the terrain, and you can see how much it shrunk. It's basically gone right back to the bottom. So can you see how much juice I squeezed out of that thing? Pretty amazing, isn't it? It's almost half a litre, yeah? So, and of this in there, the discoloration you saw is from the pepper. And of course the green parts of the leak a bit as well. So then remove the terrine from the mold and then cut it. Here we go. My knife's not very sharp either. I just need to sharpen my knives. All right, here we go. Can you see that? Oh, it just looks absolutely stunning. And even my knife was blunt, it held so nicely together. So when you cut it, you leave the glad wrap on because the glad wrap helps you enormously holding that whole thing together. See, even with a blunt knife like mine, um, works pretty okay, doesn't it? So next thing is you obviously get the plate. Look at that. Oh, so good. Okay, get a plate and then put the terrain on the plate and then remove the glad wrap, yeah? So that's the time you remove the glad wrap. See, it's an absolutely amazing entree for dinner party because you could have made it hours ahead. I know a lot of chefs tell you that you should put it in the fridge for two to three days. I didn't find that so good. I find it's really good for the first six to eight hours um, of the first day. Second day is still okay, but after two or three days, it's not so great. So then you just arrange some micro herbs around it or some salad leaves, whatever you have. I found the creamy sauce goes much nicer with that leek terrine. So I made a truffle mayonnaise, so you have the recipe in the link below and then you just put some dots around there and then you get some Vinsanto vinegar drops or balsamic vinegar drops if you make it a bit messy like I did here you can always sort of drag it along and that's your Lictorin. So thank you so much for watching Check out my video on salmon palatine, which is an equally spectacular dish. So you have a great day and keep squeezing that leak.